Hi, my gorgeous Barclays, scrumptious, delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my baby. We're going to take a look at you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Please show me angels and goddess Aphrodite what is happening for Aquarius and their boo-boo. Also, Aquarius, we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person in these you versus them readings. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a little, I got a little uh, dry air <laughs> down my throat. Mm, I don't know. Deep throating something already, you know. I feel like someone maybe tried to stick something down your throat, but it's like, you know, like a lie or something like, or they like try to like, um, <laughs> Oh my God, this is like totally off the rails already. I apologize for Bill, but it dry throat, dry throat. Let me have a little drink. <laughs> I'm incriminating myself already, baby. But someone tried to stick something down your throat, like a lie or like a half truth, or they try to gaslight you or persuade you of something. You're like ah, gagging on it. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Aquarius, welcome to Blue Angel Love. Welcome to heaven. This is heavenly. Yeah, no, there's no smutty, nothing smutty here. Uh, baby, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. I am not like, I am not that girl also. You know, I'm not like, I'm not sex crazy. I don't know why these like references always come up because I feel like um, it's just my sense of humor, you know? I am a Scorpio sun and rising, as you know, and I am Aquarius obsessed, uh, but that Scorpio humor, like. <laughs> okay, anyways, okay. Yeah, someone tried to stick something down your throat, but it was like slim pickings, all right? They have a lot to offer. There's a rat here. I smell a rat. Why do I smell a rat? I mean, I know why, because there's rats in the picture, 10 of pentacles. Someone tried to uh, play you dirty, and you were like, no. No, thank you. You saw through some, something. You saw through someone. You saw through someone's armor and through their stupidity. Also, someone tried to sell you a lie. They tried to sell you something. Like, you know, this is like a used car sales person kind of a vibe. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, obviously, if you sell used cars, I love you. But you know what I mean? Like, that shoe salesman or like, I don't know, death of a salesman. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm just like insulting everyone in this reading. YouTube is going to take it down. Okay. Uh, YouTube, don't. I love you. <laughs> um, someone's already planning to come back in. You're dealing with a very fiery person. There's a, a king of wands here, right? So maybe that's the sexual energy I'm feeling. Sexual tension, king of wands, uh, queen, anyone between genders, totally arbitrary. But this person was selling you used cars. They were selling you like, you know, like used cars, used shoes, like toothpaste, like they got everything, it's selling vacuums, like whatever you need, bit bail. But it was all like, it's not so much like nefarious lies, it's like lies of omission. They they just like mm, cornered themselves with all the lies they told you. We'll see what the lies are about. But they're like, you know, on fire, on passion, uh, on the passion for you. Their money is very funny, but by the way, their stability is very funny. Maybe what they told you about their stability is a bunch of like, it's all a bunch of lies. They're already thinking about how they're gonna come back in. This person could have disappeared or ghosted you when you started to find out more of the truth about them. Let's see what's so funny about this money and their stability. If it's a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone between you met on a Tuesday of Aquarius, I'm sorry, I feel embarrassed. I said so many like bad things already in this video. Uh, Bibbil, if it's a bimbo himbo, anyone, anyone between you met on a Tuesday, someone who tried to impress you and they told you a bunch of lies. What is so funny about this money, please? <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, okay. This isn't kosher, this isn't vegetarian, it is, it is not halal, but Bill, this is not gluten-free or sugar-free. Look, the high priestess, there's lie. This person lied about who they are. And it could be, but Bill, I'm not gonna lie, what I'm saying is like almost like from top to bottom, like everything about, even their shoe size. <laughs> it's like they lied about everything. Why does this person lie so much? Obviously they try to impress you, but there's like a deeper reason, what's the reason? Mm-hmm, eight of pentacles, because their money is funny. I think this person earns their money in an unorthodox way and they have to lie about it. And then one lie led to another and it's like a whole thing now. And they got cornered, you saw through them because you're Aquarius. Aquarius is the lie detector of the zodiac right next to the scorpion. We're like, 
and the interrogation room were like the good cop, bad cop. So this person could not get away with the lie. And they tried to get away with it and then they had to disappear. If it was a, a more established connection, 20 year old marriage, you're living together, you know, dating for five months, six months, um, this person mm, was lying to you about uh, their money situation or their work situation. This is a classic case of someone who was like, you're like living together for 20 years and one of the partners loses their job and is too embarrassed to tell the other person that they lost their job and they keep going to work but they're not really working something you know the money is very funny maybe they were trying to hide money from you you know you know your story best baby but they're hiding something about their money not being quite right out of embarrassment i don't think it's nefarious necessarily i don't think they're i don't think they're hiding money just to spend it for themselves but that could be your story you know you know your story best baby i feel like it's more like embarrassment or um they're having like very big issues at work or they uh own people money that you don't know about you have the queen of cups here at the bottom of the deck and death so there's Scorpio energy okay I feel like some lies could be coming to the surface in the Scorpio eclipse or you know things ended because you already know all this you know it all already came to the fore uh, maybe someone invested your shared money badly you know made bad decisions about money and uh, everything just came out the bill <laughs> I'm sorry I don't mean to laugh it's gonna be okay like love wise I feel like things will improve with this person I don't know if you can forgive them um maybe they, they gambled the money away for some of you they you know they just have like there's like a deeper secret to this they either uh, earn their money in a weird way or they gambled the money away, lost money, bad investments there's rats all over this reading this person's already planning a comeback baby they see was the love of their life baby <laughs> They say it's the love of their life. Oh, it's like one of those people, you know, sometimes you just get those kinds of people. You know, maybe they're a Sagittarius too. That They don't have to be, but there's Sagittarius energy here. You know, it's just that kind of a person who's just like always, they always have a business idea and it's always like a bad idea and everyone can tell apart from them. They're always in some kind of trouble. Uh, the six of a cups, you know, like wheeling, dealing kind of thing. You know, maybe they're like selling things, uh, like, like they have like, like some kind, I don't know, like they're selling things illegally on the internet or something. I don't know. Six, uh, but it's that energy. Six of Cups is someone who wants to apologize and make up, kiss, kiss it better, baby. They will be uh, taking, mm, mm, they will be a take, a taking a risk on this. So they will be venturing towards you. It could be that in the separation, this person actually moved away physically to a different location, or they could be physical distance between you. It could, it could be quite a large distance, or uh, it could have been a long distance uh, connection. That's why they kept up the lie for so long. But uh, they're going to be coming back to you on this ship. So they're going to be, um, they, you know, they need to take a risk here and they will be taking the risk. They want to they wanna dance to your beat today. <laughs> Aquarius, let's see what the advice is here for Aquarius. In the next two hours, two days, two weeks, or two months, this person will be coming back and reaching out or just appearing at your doorstep, whatever your relationship is, baby. Let's see, please show angels. What is the advice? Ah. <laughs> five of cups the advice is like look this is a dog okay like don't beat a dog that's already kind of lying down on the ground you know maybe you know uh, i'm not saying forgive them because maybe what they did is an unforgivable it is your life to live baby but at least hear them out because this person is not in a good place so if you think they're doing good if you think they you know disappeared or ran away from a problem and they're like doing fine sipping champagne and like laughing they're not <laughs> they're in a really really dark place so at least at least give them the space of two minutes to hear them out. I feel like uh, you owe them that on some level, you know, maybe like just like, you know, mm, spiritually, you owe it to yourself as well to hear them out and then see what happens. See what they have to say, baby. Just see what they have to say. Uh, Bibu, this is what I have for you today, my darling Aquarius. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, baby, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby, tomorrow. <laughs> stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs> One more.